Let's try to find the LCM of 48, 56 and 72 using the prime factorization method. We follow the same procedure we used to find the LCM of two numbers. We reduce 48, 56 and 72 to their respective prime factors. Let's look at 48 first. It is divisible by 2 and 2 multiplied by 24 is 48. This is also divisible by 2 and 2 times 12 is 24. 12 is also divisible by 2 and 2 times 6 equals 12 and 2 multiplied by 3 equals 6. It has 4 2's and 1 3. Hence 48 can be written as 2 raised to 4 multiplied by 3. What about 56? Yes, it is also divisible by 2 and 2 times 28 is 56. 2 times 14 is 28 and 2 times 7 is 14. We stop the process here since 7 is a prime number. We have 3 2's and a 7. So 56 can be written as 2 cubed multiplied by 7. Why don't you try solving for the prime factors of 72? The prime factorization process for 72 would look something like this. 3 2's and 2 3's. So 72 can be written as 2 cubed multiplied by 3 squared. How do we find the LCM? We look for the highest powers of each factor and then multiply them. Among all the powers of 2, 2 raised to 4 is the highest. We write 2 raised to 4 here. Among all the powers of 3, 3 squared is the highest and 7 raised to 1 is the only other factor left. So we multiply this with 7. The first thing you should do after you write the numbers in exponential form is jot down all the factors that are present. Here, the factors that are present are 2, 3 and 7. Once you do that, you look for the highest powers of each of these. Anyway, solving this, you should get the answer as 1008. That's the LCM of these three numbers.